Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you guys are going to be picking my full face of makeup. I've been seeing this video going around and I just think it's a really fun way to get subscribers involved and really interactive in like the creative process for a full face of makeup. So I just thought that this would be really fun. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, that is where I ran the polls on my Instagram story. So definitely make sure you guys go ahead and follow me. My social medias will be right here on the screen. They are both at Jackie and Makeup, both of my Instagram and my Twitter as well. I really love interacting with you guys on my social media. I always try to reply to everyone and talk to you guys as much as possible. But like I said, my Instagram stories is where I ran the poll for this video. But if you guys want more like interactive videos like this where you guys can be involved, definitely let me know and I will try to do my research or maybe come up with something to include you guys in your creative control in more videos. So if you guys don't know how this video works or if you haven't seen one here on YouTube before, I put a poll on my Instagram and I picked two makeup products so kind of like a this or that kind of thing and you guys vote whether you want me to use Laura Mercier or Anastasia you know what I mean so it's kind of picking between two makeup products and then I let the poll run for about I want to say it was like 15 hours from morning till nighttime I screenshotted the results and then I have those results to share with you guys today and those products that won in the poll I will be using on my face today so I really hope that you guys enjoy the only thing that you guys didn't vote on was a mascara because I only own one mascara in my whole entire makeup collection so that is the only thing that you guys couldn't vote for but other than that you guys had full creative control over the makeup that I'm going to be doing today I'm really excited to show you guys the look and see how it turns out so let's just get started all right so I just zoomed you guys in so we could get a little bit closer in on all the action but the first thing that I had you guys vote on were my eyebrows and what products I should use in my eyebrows so the two products that I gave you guys the option to choose were the wet and wild retract eyebrow pencil or the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow was and I was really surprised with this one I thought the brow was was gonna win but the wet and wild brow pencil actually won by a lot 66% of you voted for the wet and wild brow pencil and 34% of you voted for the ABH so of course we're gonna be using the wet and wild one today so I use mine in the shade ash brown this is only I believe $2.99 at Target or $3.99 on wet and wild website and this is what the product looks like so it does have a little bit more of of the thick tip a little bit more of like the Anastasia brow definer vibes so it definitely can be like a little bit thick if you have thin brows I do find that this is definitely something that I have to go back in and clean my brows up with concealer afterwards but I really do like this all in all so of course you guys have seen me do my brows before so I'm probably not going to show you the whole thing or talk you guys through the whole process but I'm just going to start by outlining the top and the bottom and then filling it in with the same pencil Whenever I go ahead and carve out my eyebrows, I always use the same concealer that I use for underneath my eyes. So in the poll, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer won, and that is 52% to 48% compared to the Tarte. I was really, really shocked. I thought a lot of you guys, a majority of you guys, were going to pick the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just because it's a very hyped up concealer. A lot of people know and love it. I'm just going to take a little bit of this concealer on the back of my hand and just carve out my brows just to clean them up a little. And and just give them more of a nice shape. And then I'm also going to take that same concealer and start priming my lids because I always love to prime my lids with concealer now. I'm really not into eye primers anymore. So I just like to use my concealer. Now I'm going to be setting that with the Tardis Contour Palette. You guys picked this in the poll as well. I'm going to get into that a little more in depth when I actually use it to contour my face. I'm just going to set my eyelids and the concealer that I put around the brow. All right, so now moving on to eyeshadow. I knew that you guys were going to pick this palette. So this is the Bad Habit Athena palette. And this one against the Wet n Wild Not a Basic Peach Eyeshadow palette, 60% to 40% so again that didn't shock me I know a lot of you guys are really interested in hush palettes and bad habit palettes and this one is a dupe for the Huda Beauty, 
Huda Beauty for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. But I'm really happy that you guys did go ahead and pick these palettes because Hush did go ahead and send me a bunch of their palettes in PR and I haven't gotten a chance to really test them out, put them to the test and see if I really, really love them. But I have used a couple of them here and there and I do like them so far, but I've really been wanting to dive into this one a little bit more. So the first thing that I'm going to do for my transition is take the shade Valor, which is this bright peachy shade up here. It's so hard to do this backwards and I'm just going to dip into that. Definitely not a lot of fallout. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm really dipping my brush in there and the brush is picking up a lot of product, but there's not much fallout on the palette. So very happy with that. All right, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M505, and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Lore, which is the really bright, fiery orange. Oh, that's really bright. And just on the outer corners, I'm really going to be flicking that out just to get a little bit more of a wide eyed effect. And then just going back in with that original brush to blend everything together. Don't worry, I will definitely go back in and clean everything up. I know I took the shadow like way too far out here, but I'm going to clean that up in the end. Oh, now to deepen up the outer corner, I'm going to take the shade Power, which is this red shade right here next to that orange, and I'm just taking this on my Morphe M433. Ooh, that's so pigmented. I literally barely touched in to that shadow. I'm scared of the shadow. I'm going to really tap off the excess and start applying this to the outer corner. I'm having so much fun with this palette, you guys. I'm loving these really fiery shades. And I think everything is looking nice so far. I'm gonna take the Liquid Camouflage Concealer again, just on a little brush and carve out part of my lid. I don't think I wanna do like a full on cut crease, but maybe just the front part of my lid. I just wanna brighten it up and clean it up a little. For my lid, I really think I wanna stick with the whole like fiery red theme. I was gonna go in with daring which is this shade right here but honestly the formula on this scares me it's like a straight up pressed glitter and i'm just not exactly sure how to work with these so first off just to play it safe i'm gonna go in with medusa which is this really pretty shade right here it's almost like a pink but it has like a little bit of an orange duochrome and then i think what i'll do after is take a little bit of this glitter layered on top or maybe just where that outer corner meets the lid shade to kind of mend the two together to have a little bit more of a color gradient so i just wiped off that brush that little flat top brush that i used for concealer and i'm gonna try applying the shade dry first to see how that applies and then i will go in with fix plus if i need it which i think I'm going to. Okay, so I am going to go in with a little bit of Fix Plus. Oh yeah, that is much more intense. Ooh, this color is gorgeous. It's like one of those light pink shades, but when you turn your head, it has like a gold, goldish orange duochrome to it. This is such a gorgeous shade. I'm not 100% crazy about the formula. I feel like it doesn't do much at all when it's dry. And then even when it's wet, it still has like a chunky consistency to it. But I made it work. I think it looks really pretty with the other colors that I have on my lid. And I don't think I'm going to even attempt to add any of that glitter just because I really like how the look looks. And I don't want to ruin it. But 
I really like this shade. Like I mentioned in the intro of this video, I only have one mascara. Mascara is just something that I'm really comfortable with the one that I'm using and I don't really like getting a lot of mascaras because I will never go through them. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Total Temptation. This is an amazing mascara. I'm just going to pop off camera, apply my mascara, and then I will be right back to start the face with you guys and we will see what you guys chose. Okay, so I am back. My mascara is done and now we are going to be seeing what you guys chose for me to use on my face. So for prep spray, I put up the MAC Fix Plus against the Smashbox Primer Water and you guys chose that I use Fix Plus 67% to 33% over the Smashbox Primer Water. So I usually do use both of these in combination, but I was really curious to see which one that you guys would want to see me use alone. And for primer, you guys chose that I use the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer, the smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. 57% over the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, 43%. I was really shocked at this one. I really thought that you guys were going to choose the Smashbox Primer just because it's a primer that a lot of people know and love, a lot of people are used to. You guys have seen me use that primer a lot here on my channel, but I'm really happy that you guys are having me kind of branch out of my comfort zone a little bit and dive into some products that I don't use a bunch on my channel. This is definitely a very interesting consistency to me. It feels like very silicone-y, but it's like a little slimy feeling as well. It's definitely a smoothing primer overall, but it has a little bit of a different consistency. If you guys have tried this out, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. And this also has a very strong like cologne scent, but that really fades away once it's all like soaked into the skin. So I was really curious to see what you guys were going to choose for foundation. So the two foundations that I put up in the poll were the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation as well as the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I did this because both of the foundations are really similar and they're actually pretty much a dupe for each other. If you guys want to go check out that dupe video, I will have it linked up here. I did a whole like side by side demo wear test review video on those two foundations next to each other so definitely go check that out if you guys want to see a little bit more in depth on that claim but I did this because I was just really curious to see which one that you guys like more because I know a lot of people are like team Fenty a lot of people are team matte and poreless but it was actually really close which I expected so the Fenty primer won by 52% to 48% next to the matte and poreless these foundations are very comparable that they're very awesome foundations and like I said both of them have a huge following so that's why I kind of wanted to see which one out of the two that you guys would pick but I'm kind of not surprised that you guys chose the Fenty foundation because I know it just has I think just the whole Fenty makeup line has a huge hype around it in general so that's what we're going to be using today I wear the shade 190 if you guys are curious and then I also did go ahead and let you guys choose the sponge that I was going to be using let me just pull up the poll so I wanted you guys to choose between the L'Oreal sponge as well as the Morphe sponge and the Morphe sponge won by a long shot 75% for the Morphe sponge and 25% of you guys chose the L'Oreal sponge so the combo on my face we're going to be using today are Fenty and Morphe. So I put the Fenty Matchstick up against the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and of course the Fenty Matchstick won. Like I said, I wasn't really surprised at the Fenty products that I put in the poll one just because a lot of people love them and know them and want to see them being put to use. So I'm going to be using the Matchstick today in the shade Ivory. I really didn't like this underneath my eyes. If you guys watched my Fenty review video, I will have a card linked up here so you guys can go check that out. But I did really like this for spot concealing, especially underneath my foundation. I usually do like to use this underneath my foundation I just forgot for today's video so I'm just gonna be applying this right on top to some spots and again going in with the Catrice liquid camouflage concealer for underneath my eyes now
For my setting powder, you guys chose that I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and this won 63% opposed to 37% of you guys who voted for the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. So I'm just going to take this on my little pointed buffer brush from Morphe, and I'm going to set underneath my lids first and anywhere underneath my lids, underneath my eyes first, and then just setting the rest of the face with the same powder as well. Another one of those products that I knew was going to win was the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I put this up against my Anastasia bronzer in the shade Rosewood. So 67% of you guys voted that I used this and 33% of you voted for the Anastasia bronzer. So for the butter bronzer, I just have mine in the shade bronzer. I hope this is deep enough for me. I haven't gotten my hands on any of the deeper shades and I haven't used this in a really long time. So I hope that this matches me okay. Hey, there's a little bit of something showing up. It's not just as intense as I like it to be. I really like a very warm, like intense bronzer, and this one is also a little bit more on the cool tone side, so I'm not loving this, but I have to use it because that is what you guys wanted me to use. So before, like I said, when I was setting my lids and stuff like that, you guys chose for me to use the, whoa, I almost dropped that. You guys chose for me to use the Tardis Contour Kit. 66% of you guys voted for me to use the Tardis Contour Kit and the other 34 chose the Anastasia Contour Kit. So I'm gonna dip into Contour Shade 3. I hope that this helps add a little bit more warmth to my face as well. I'm just not used to such a cool tone bronzer. Oh yeah, there we go. I just feel like I need a little bit more definition to the face, so I'm probably going to just extend this a little bit wider than I normally would put contour, just to add a little bit more of color that I like to the skin. There we go. Now we're talking. For my blush, this is another one that really shocked me. You guys did the complete opposite of what I was expecting. So the two that I put up next to each other were the e.l.f. palette and the Milani Rose Blush. And you guys chose that I use the Milani Rose Blush. 67% of you guys chose this. And 33% of you guys, 33% of you guys chose the e.l.f. palette. I really thought the e.l.f. palette would win because I know a lot of you guys just like e.l.f. makeup and blush palettes and stuff like that. But this is fun. I love this color as well. And honestly, it goes really well with the eye look. So I'm happy that this one won. And this one is in the shade 01 Romantic Rose. Highlighter today is going to be the Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I put this up against the Becca Champagne Pop and Jaclyn Hill highlighter in my poll. And 52% of you guys wanted me to use this and 48% of you voted for Champagne Pop. So I think today I'm going to start off with the shade Moonstone as my highlight. Just because it's like a little bit more of like a peachy pink shade. And I think it'll go with the eyes and stuff really nicely. So I just finished off my eyes off camera just to speed things up. I used the same exact products. I used the orange, that bright orange smoked out underneath my lower lash line and just a little bit of lower lash mascara and some inner corner highlight and stuff like that. So for lips, 73, yeah, 73% 73 of you guys chose that I use the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. I know a lot of you guys really love this product. I chose lip products that were similar shades just because I knew I wanted to do a nude lip just to keep it, like to ensure that it'll match any eye look that I ended up doing. I think this is going to look gorgeous with the eye look that we have going on. So the last thing that we have to do is set our face and you guys want me to use the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 setting spray. I put this up against the Urban Decay All Nighter and I believe... 60 something percent of you guys chose to use this one. Yeah, 65 percent of you guys chose to use this one. And then the other 35 wanted me to use the Urban Decay. 
All right, you guys, so here's the final look. I really hope that you guys liked how it turned out. This was so much fun to film. Thank you so much to everyone who participated in the polls on my Instagram stories and chose what makeup you guys want to see me use in today's video. If you guys don't want to miss out on participating in another video like this in the future, definitely make sure that you guys go ahead and follow my social medias. All my social media stuff is always down below. They are both just at Jackie Ann Makeup. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that hopefully my lighting situation will be figured out soon. I know I told you guys that it would probably be fixed by this video but my other softbox still hasn't come in and I'm just still figuring some things out with the lighting but hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video anyway definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and hit that little notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and you guys will get directly notified every single time that I upload as always thank you guys so much for watching and of course I will see you in my next one bye guys